Hello internet world, welcome to my review of the VO Active 46 camera backpack from Vanguard. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money to exchange hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion of this bag or backpack so that you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the Vanguard VO Active 46. It's a camera bag or backpack, which is packed full of really great features. I can't wait to show you some of them up in closer detail. Before I do so, I just wanna show you the tag that comes on the bag. This lists off the different models. So it starts with the 42M, we've got the 46 here, 49 and 53. And as you go up in the range, they have more capacity. This is a very useful card because there is a capacity uh, diagram here. So we've got the VO Active 46, and as you can see, it can fit a full-size DSLR or two, plus some additional lenses. We've also got room for smartphone, flash, extra accessories, maybe even some waterproof gear if we want to take maybe a lightweight jacket, for example. Also tripod capacity as well and a 10 inch tablet and 14 inch laptop. So it's got some really good capacity inside here. So let's start by taking a look at the front. So this front area, the first thing I really like is there's lots of these little loops. So we can use these loops for attaching more accessories. We've also got access to all of the different compartments. So for example, on this top section here, if we undo the top section, we can actually expand the capacity of the bag and we've got extra room in here. And there are additional uh, bags inside. There's a little additional pouch inside there. There's also another pouch, which is really good. This is good for maybe putting a lens in. And then we've got some netting and zipped pockets inside, uh, which are really useful for organizing the equipment you're gonna put in here. So nice that you can extend the capacity and you've got these extra sort of bags and pouches inside as well. I think that's a really good design. Let's just close this up. As you can see, we can zip this back up. We've got a lot extra height if we left it in this position, but we can, of course, fold it down and clip it back into place to keep things nice and tidy. Everything's really easy to pull on the zippers as well because we've got these additional little yellow pieces, which just make them really easy to grip, which is great if you're wearing gloves. We've got a top carry handle, and then we've also got this additional zip that comes around here, so we can gain access to the uh, bag that's inside, and also this top compartment. So we've got like a, a sort of easy access to things that we're gonna use a lot. Let's just zip that back up, and we'll take a look on the base very quickly. So we've got a nice sturdy base. We've also got some side pockets, so again, if we uh, wanted to release these, it does give us access to these side pockets. We can also uh, use this for a tripod on the side. This one here, we open this up. This could be where you'd put something maybe like a water pouch or water bottle. And then again, we can just reattach these. So if we wanted our tripod side mounted on the outside, we could use this area here. If we take a look around on this side, a little bit different on this side. So we've got a little pocket just in here. We've also got this zipped area here. And if we take a look inside, we've got a USB connection. We could use that for something like a power bank to charge something whilst it's inside the bag. Very, very cool. Absolutely love it. Then if we look around on the back, this is where we've got all of the uh, waist strap, shoulder straps, all the padding that's going to make this really comfortable to carry. Let's just release these ones. And you can see how thick the padding is on these uh, on the waist strap. And again on the shoulder straps, really thick padding. And if we just take a look in this rear section, this is zipped all the way round. We've got some really nice little uh, nodules on here, which makes it really comfortable to use. A uh, lot of wicking material as well, so that the uh, any sweat dissipates nice and easily. We can open this up. 
we've got this internal compartment in here which you could remove completely if you wanted to this is also zipped and then we can open this up to reveal all of the organizational compartments in here for your dslr camera body for your additional lenses for your extra accessories we've even got a rain cover in here as well it's just really nicely organized these are all attached with velcro so you can reconfigure this to how you want it to be so that's really nice i do like that and the fact you can remove that completely is really good and then we've got this upper section here which is what's going to uh, fold back into the back of the backpack we've got room for our tablet 10 inch tablet up to about a 14 inch laptop you might get away with a larger screen ultrabook depends on the physical size of it and these are really nicely padded as well a little velcro fastener of course to keep your laptop in place and then this all goes back in and zips down into place and you can reorganize your your straps accordingly it's a really solidly made backpack beautifully designed additional little pockets everywhere such a useful useful design on this one and super comfortable as well if you're carrying a nice heavy weight all this additional padding really does lend itself to a really nice experience if you're carrying a lot of gear around so this is the vanguard vo46 i think it's a, a great a vo active 46 i think it's a great camera backpack and comes highly recommended if you want to pick up one of these for yourself please do check out the links underneath this video there's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website where you can see the other bags in this range and i want to thank you all for watching as always if you enjoyed the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in another video very very soon